Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is just a really short demonstration of the Autofix D1 diagnostic tool. I just want to show you how thin this tool is and how easy it is to hold it in your hand um, and how sort of big it is. It's a, it's a really, really impressively made, well-built tablet. Um, we're in a Volvo C30 here and we've got a few warning lights on the dashboard. I'm going to show you this tool just simply diagnosing these. We have, uh, we've had a couple of faults which we have fixed. I'm just going to uh, sort of put the, the seatbelt on here just so that I can turn off the seatbelt light. Um, yeah, so we've, we've got an airbag fault which we had a connection underneath the driver's seat uh, and an ABS issue which needed a new front ABS sensor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the tool diagnosing uh, these faults and actually getting rid of the warning lights, okay? Um, so we're going to manually select our vehicle. It's a C30 from 2008, European model C30, 2008. Uh, the engine type, I think it's this one here. It might not be 100% correct, but it's not. We're not worried too much about that because we're not actually going into the engine system. Okay, uh, we're just really interested in the airbag and the ABS systems. Uh, it's just a short demonstration of the tool. In fact, while while I'm here, I will have a quick look at this. To see if it will let us in. Trouble codes. Uh, yeah, it's letting us in there. We, we do we do know there is a fault with the engine system. Uh, if I go, if, I, if you take a look at this system here, uh, sorry, this message center here. If we go scroll along, it'll show us that there's an engine system service required. Um, and these are the faults that we've been getting, but we do need to change the mass airflow sensor. Uh, so it's an example of the fault codes you might get. Um, and the, it, sort of the description of the fault, okay? But what we'll do is we'll have a look first of all at the airbag system, okay? And I'll show you what we've been able to do here. Uh, escape that. Uh, so the airbag system is, where is it? Have I gone past it on the first page? Yes, SRS airbag system. So we'll click on trouble codes. And this was the trouble code that we were getting, 005B, side impact protection, uh, right front resistance too high. So it was a right front, that's the driver's seat. Uh, we, we noticed a uh, loose connection underneath the driver's seat, which has been put back together. So we can click on erase codes now, just click yes to that. And then just keep an eye on the airbag light on this section here. It can take sometimes 10 to 15 seconds to turn off, but just keep an eye on it until it goes off. There we go, the light has gone off, and now we'll have a look at the ABS system. So again, trouble codes. Uh, we did test the wheel sensor, the ABS sensor, and it was showing to be uh, broken, no signal coming from it at all. Uh, so we put the new one in, but obviously we've still got the warning lights, we've still got the fault codes. And it's the same again, really, just a case of clicking on the erase codes option. Successfully erased. And then I'm gonna come out of this, The Warning light is still flashing, but we're just going to wait a few seconds, it'll go steady, then it'll turn off completely. There we go. So, we now have, other than the engine fault message uh, in the message center right at the top there, then we've got no more warning lights showing on the dashboard, which is good. Um, but as I say, it's all thanks to the Autofix D1. You might actually, you might be wondering where, how this connects to the vehicle. It connects to the vehicle via it's like a, a dongle which plugs into the diagnostic port. So it's currently plugged in there right now, uh, and it creates a Bluetooth connection between the vehicle and the tool itself, which is really good. Uh, uh, some other diagnostic tools that work like this with a Bluetooth connection, they can cause quite a few connection issues. Um, but we found that this one. Uh, is probably the best of them all, it doesn't. Uh, but also if we just click on the service menu, there are some service functions that the tool will allow you to carry out as well. It all really depends on the vehicle. Um, so not all of these functions are suitable on all vehicles, but that's, that's the, that would be the same with any tool, not just this one, all right? Uh, but I will pop the link to this kit in the description because there are fakes, there are clones. They can damage your vehicle, and it's not worth going down that route. So if you make sure you click the link in the description, it will take you to the genuine and official product, okay? Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope this helps.